Hi Scorpio, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading from the 28th to the 3rd of November. Remember, it's Halloween um, next week on Wednesday. I hope you have a beautiful day. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going. I've made nearly all the videos and uh, I didn't want to leave you in Sagittarius out. So that's why the daylight has gone. So I hope you can still see the beautiful pictures there are. I'll see whether I can adjust the lighting a bit. Is that better? Okay. Well, better this way than nothing at all. I wouldn't want to leave you out until tomorrow. Because tomorrow I'm also going to make the romance readings for the 30th. And it takes a couple of days. Anyway, here we go. We've got the Rune uh, Tarot. We've got the Witch's Tarot in, uh, because the theme is Halloween. And we've got the Tea Leaves um, because we've got the Tea Room. Then we've got the Angel Oracle Deck or the Angel Feather Oracle Deck. Uh, the Surrender Deck, the Answers of the Angels and the Romance of the Angels. Now, if you're new here, Welcome and please uh, subscribe and hit the bell, then you'll be notified when I go live. We've had some technical problems because in life we did have the Super Chat. I don't know whether it's back yet today, um, but if you want, would like a question in the Super Chat, then I'll give you your specific answer with a reading. And... Um, if you would like an extensive reading, then please email me uh, to Charlie's Angel Tarot and you can find the address underneath this video in the description box, Charlie's Angel Tarot at gmail.com. And also, if you would like to donate to this channel, you're more than welcome and thank you very much. Uh, you can find the link below as well. Right, I'm going to get started with the... Um, rune tar uh, tarot rune and you've got number six and you've got the heart well you've guessed it you've got the lovers number six is the lovers so that means you might be meeting a new lover you might be um, forming partnerships going up a level or two perhaps the next level if you're going out you might be getting engaged or living together <coughs> <clears throat> this could also mean that you are forming your partnerships in business. This could also be your soulmate, as the lovers, of course, represent Gemini and soulmates. You might even meet a Gemini. And funny enough that I'm talking about Gemini, because you've got the Page of Swords. You are going to get news from a young person, most likely, through cyber, and that means email text message or a telephone call or airmail paper. So you'll be getting clarity and most probably um, uh, justice. It could if you're in a judicial situation. Okay, then in the house of happiness, we have the rat. Um, rats, some of it, it all depends what kind of rat you have. If it's a domestic rat, they're quite sweet. And if you've got a wild rat then be careful that usually when you call a person a rat they're not trustworthy someone is working against you behind your back so in other words be careful of gossip and what people are doing behind your back perhaps you might get news about that and become clear who it is perhaps you've had a feeling that somebody is working against you it could be somebody that is jealous because he's also looking to this card, the kite. And the kite is lying underneath the house of love. And it is also air. It means vacation. A kite flies uh, during the, through the air, but you might be off in an aeroplane. And somebody might be working against that as well because they don't want you to go. It could be your partner or somebody that fancies you and they will give you the news from I don't want you to go because I'll miss you, blah, blah, blah. Okay, then we've got in the career, we've got coins. 
and coins always mean money so money might be coming to you money will be coming to you what did i say oh nice one i haven't even studied the cards with the book but i'm getting there i'm beginning to understand them they're going to be they're becoming my own that's lovely when that happens you are one with your cards okay now for the angel feather oracle card you have <coughs> um sunshine i think sunshine uh yellow and i'm doing the extended extended version of this you can still see it it's like a um a lighthouse it's beaming even in this dark color it gives off light it's amazing sunshine yellow angel feather happiness awaits so don't worry if somebody is working against you you will just know in time because there's too many positive cards uh, <clears throat> surrounding you okay the angels ask that you feel happy and optimistic there are bright days ahead for you the sunshine yellow angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of happiness the angels ask that you connect with the solar magic and energies of the sun. As you walk outside, this radiant energy will usher in fresh feelings of motivation and cheerfulness. The solar rays energize the solar plexus, that's your emotional chakra. That we, that's, I'm, I'm also a reflexologist, and that's what you call it, the, the, the sun the sun flex or the sun uh, spot that's the emotional chakra just underneath your ribs the v in your ribs that's the solar plex chakra which promotes self-awareness and individual power this rev uh, revitalization will give you the ability to face your inner fears and inhibitions through the sun's illumination you will develop a fresh bright approach to your life happiness awaits you you can use the affirmation when meditating or sitting quietly i'm open to receive happiness i'm willing i'm filling my body and soul with happiness i'm spending time every day doing this and things that make me smile and feel happy other symbols of the sunlight yellow uh, angel feather is creativity, warmth, new home, inspiration, thought and focus. I hope you have liked that. Sorry, I've lost my voice. <coughs> I hope you've liked that card. I think they're amazing. And then we've got the surrender cards. Surrender to stubbornness. If you are tense, tensing up or taking a rigid stand about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. Awesome. Now, if you go back to the sunlight uh, yellow feather, then it also meet, it says open up so open up your emotional chakra so that's also surrendering to stubbornness open up your feelings and your heart then you won't be so stubbornness because you will listen to your intuitions and you'll be mellowing out remain positive is the answer of the angels okay remain positive scorpio soulmate yes this is your soulmate and we've got the six the lovers okay so you are meeting up with your soulmate or if you've already got a person it is your soulmate that you have found so remain positive open up your emotional chakra and be happy happiness awaits you I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please give me the thumbs up and share this video with family and friends. I hope you enjoy your week and definitely Halloween. And 
Take care and I'll either see you in the life or in the next video. Love you all. Bye cyber babes. Thank you very much for coming new people and I hope to see you and meet you in the live sessions.